John South Mount Pearl. Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Immigration is not the only Alberta Conservative under a cloud of an, under an ethical cloud. My question is quite simple. Can the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs confirm that she broke the Conflict of Interest Act and was recently penalized by the Ethics Commissioner? Will the Minister tell the House and the Canadian people why? The uh, Honourable Minister of State. Mr. Uh, Speaker, that is incorrect. The Honourable Member for St. John South Mount Pearl. Well, Mr. Speaker, I'm looking here at a public notice of administration monetary penalty. The name of the public office holder, including is the Minister's name, and the amount of the penalty is also cited. So again, it's been more than six weeks since, the, the, since being fined by the Ethics Commissioner. She's re still refusing to pay the fine. She's not, she's not owning up to that. So my question is, why won't the minister abide by the law? It's clear she violated the act. The Honourable Minister of State. Speaker, the uh, Ethics Commissioner contacted me about a document that had not been filed. I uh, immediately filed the document. There has been no penalty, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Order. The Honourable Minister of State is rising on a point of order also. Yes, thank you, Mr. Speaker. This is with respect to the question that was asked to me in question period by the Honourable Member for St. John uh, West, South, uh, Mount Pearl. Mount Pearl. Yeah. Uh, through the uh, magic of, uh, of uh, the internet, my assistant let me know after the question that, in fact, I have a letter in my office from the Ethics Commissioner. Uh, which arrived on Friday. She hadn't told me about it yet. Uh, but uh, because I did not file the document within 30 days as, uh, as I was supposed to, in fact, the Ethics Commissioner has let me know that I will be liable for a $100 fine, which I will pay forthwith with apologies to the Ethics Commissioner for my tardiness. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for St. John, South Mount Pearl, rising on the same point. Yes, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd just like to advise the House, and I will be happy to table the documentation that is the public notice of administrative monetary penalty issued under the authority of the Conflict of Interest Act that does give the nature of the violation, the name of the public office holder, the amount of the pe penalty as was discussed, but also the notice of the date of uh, violation, which was January 26, 2011. I ask leave to, uh, to table this document. Does the Honourable Member have the unanimous consent of the House to table this document? There is no consent.